Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Finding Aspen Through the Rain. Kind of. Yeah, this is going to be a full episode. I don't know if I'm... I don't know. I'm ranting. <laughs> I realize it's been a little bit since I did a video. So it's like, girl, you're supposed to be on the ball on this shit. Keep it up as I shake my phone all over the place. I don't know where my mic stand is. Somewhere. Not here, obviously. Mm, hairs everywhere. So, I have some big news as far as like what's been going on in my life and everything. Um, last week? Yes. Last week I actually just signed on with a modeling agency. I am now a model and actress. I actually signed on with them. I'm doing my first photo shoot. It was supposed to be today actually, but last night the makeup artist actually got in a car accident. I really hope she's okay. But because of that, they didn't have, they couldn't find someone to do the makeup, so they're like, can we reschedule for tomorrow? So, fingers crossed, everything happens the way it's supposed to, and tomorrow I'll actually have my first photo shoot. And this is just like for my portfolio and everything, but I've never done anything like this, so it's like nerve-wracking, but super exciting at the same time, because being a model and actress has like been a dream my entire life. Ever since I was a little boy, like, I wanted to be an actress. Like, I always thought it was a dream of mine that was completely out of reach. There's no way that it would ever happen, so it was just that it was a dream. Of course, growing up through everything, as my phone, who's texting me? Um, <laughs> growing up and eventually learning. I mean, it took me a long time to realize that all of my problems stemmed from me being trans and I needed to fix that before I could do anything else. But now that I had the, I had the opportunity, I actually stumbled across this ad on Craigslist. And so I was like, what the hell? Uh, worst they can do is say no and I can try another way because I've wanted to model forever. So I called them, and they were interested, even though I told them straight up, like, hey, I know some agencies don't like working with trans girls, so I just, FYI, I am trans. Cat, do not ruin my light. <laughs> um, so I was kind of scared about that. But they actually do not care at all. I set up an appointment and went in there and talked to them for an interview, and they loved me, so they actually signed me on right then and there. <coughs> oh. Excuse me, I've been sick for like a week since I went to Junction. Um, I did go to Grand Junction last week and I got to perform again and got to see all my friends and all everybody that I've left behind. I miss everybody so much. So it was really good for me to go to Junction and yeah, kind of that sort of thing. What is my phone doing down there? Something crazy. I don't know. But, um, so that was a lot of fun. But unfortunately, for the two days that I was there, Somehow, I got sick as hell. Okay, I heard that it takes a little bit to get sick, but either way, <laughs> I'm blaming it on Junction. Sounds like a good excuse. <laughs> so I've been sick for like the past week. Like, I could not kick this cold. It was ridiculous. But I'm finally feeling better, which is good, because my photo shoot was supposed to be today, which I'm kind of glad it didn't, because the world works in mysterious ways. It really does. Sometimes it'll piss you off at first, but then later on, like, a couple hours later, like, wow. I'm kind of glad that happened, because, like, my kid got out of school early today, and I, there's no way I could have came and pick her up if I was in the middle of a photo shoot. So it kind of works in mysterious ways. I didn't want the makeup artist to get into a car accident for it to happen, but I hope she's okay. I'm a lover. I care about everybody. And there's a lot of idiots and a lot of car accidents here lately. Learn how to drive, people. Um, but, yeah, so, tomorrow I have my photo shoot, I get three looks, which I've already got them all planned out and figured out, I'm gonna do, like, a secretary-type nerd-like look, you know, with the hot secretary, <laughs> and I'm gonna do kind of like the girl next door, party girl, just that type of look, and then, of course, you know me, my ninja princess side, I have to let it show, so I'm actually gonna do an apocalyptic-type look, and, oh. That's going to be my favorite one. I cannot wait. So yes, I get three different looks. They're going to have professional makeup artists and hairstylists. And they're going to do everything for each different look. And take three to five hundred pictures tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Little nerve-wracking, but I think it's going to be fun. Although, I do not like this lighting. 
Ooh, look at the tatas. <laughs> That's a little bit better lighting as I just look at myself instead of into the camera. So you're like, what is this bitch doing? It's all about the angle. See, I'm prettier like this than if I hold the phone over there. I don't know. Um, other than that, the kid's back in school, so now I have the free time. That's why I've kind of been getting things going, the ball rolling on my modeling career. Why not? Um, I can't think of anything else. Meh. If I think of anything else, I'll just up another, upload another video. This is kind of going to be a quick update. I wasn't even planning on shooting, but it's like, hey, I've got 15 minutes. Why not? <laughs> so until my next video, guys, bye.